Cottbus is a quaint little town, as you can see here. It has its theater. Uh, the, the university is quite nice and there's like a thousand international students, which is fantastic. My expectations have been met in terms of the curriculum and, and what I hope to get out of this program. Actually, uh, this program gives you a lot of opportunity to work on, on sites in your home country. It's actually encouraged to, to, to take this expertise and apply it where it's needed. It is always good to leave your home country and then look back, yeah? And when I got here, I started learning so much and so many things changed in my perspective of heritage in general. And now I'm into something totally different than I could ever imagine. It's, it's really good, not just comparing like one Latin American country to the other, but comparing, I don't know, Colombia with India and you see really similar issues going on in the same places. So it's, it's really interesting how these, like how these masters allow me to do that. My basic interest for this program started while I'm doing my bachelor seminar, of which I start to found that history and archaeology won't be enough to understand more about the human heritage. The idea you need a more diverse program, you need a more multidisciplinary program that you could understand urbans, you could understand history development, you could understand management, more aspects that certain programs like history and archaeology could not cover. It was in 1997 when we do the first concept for doing World Heritage Studies. It was the reason that we think about how to um, bring the different fields together. I was working for the European Commission. I was still in contact with international organizations like UNESCO. And by our uh, conversation in Paris, Last not least, it was the idea of UNESCO staff to say, look, Michael, we need a program. We need a program on World Heritage to have a strategic education partner in this field of the UNESCO World Heritage approach. I mean, the World Heritage Studies and the overall networking or the organizations which I'm practicing it right now are codependent to each other. I mean, we have so many guest lecturers here from different organizations which give us practical insights. So it's very interesting to see how these intellectual or academic programs interact with practical approaches towards heritage. Heritage is all about interdisciplinarity, about exchange, about understanding the cultural traditions and heritage of the others. So I like the idea of having students in the classroom who live what they learn and who can, who can live this exchange on a daily basis, learn from each other, not only about their cultural heritage, but also about what they bring into the studies and their different professional backgrounds. And that makes it a very unique experience. And whenever I teach in World Heritage Studies at BTU, every single lesson I learn as much as I can offer. Very few Europeans do go. The you know, if you think about what should the students do if they leave the program, we have a lot of possibilities. You know, some of the students are working in the field of UNESCO and they can do everything nearly because they have a good uh, idea of what UNESCO is doing. And then we have also the possibilities for the students to uh, join the foreign offices in their countries to bring the idea of special worldwide culture in uh, the administration. Then we have uh, the uh, idea that most of the students uh, will join the sites and do the management in the sites. And some of them, they want to protect a building, others they want to uh, promote, um, I don't know, a specific form of dance or music, others they want to protect the landscapes, others they want to support communities to make a difference in the life of people. So it's, it's, it's so many different facets and aspects, you know, where people get to work after they graduate. But regardless of, of this specific professional focus, I think what binds all of them is this motivation to, to make a difference. Yeah, I'll say come, come and study. Um, BTU is a wonderful university, but you should work hard. It's really nice.